A violent morning in Atmore, a home invasion murder, a man and woman shot multiple times. News 5's Debbie Williams talked to the sister of one of the victims. She wants her brother's killer captured. The little town of Atmore is not used to this kind of thing, a violent home invasion robbery that turned into murder. It was my little brother. A sister's grief. He was always there for me. Dorothy Thomas is trying to make sense of a crime <laughs> that makes no sense. And it just sang into me how this was done for no reason but evil. Just after 3 o'clock Monday morning, 56-year-old Robert Kennedy and his girlfriend, 45-year-old Joy McClammy, the victims of a deadly home invasion. They were sleeping in the bed and someone kicked the door in and was asking them for his money. They used curse words and he my understanding, he told them to wait a minute, wait a minute, like pleading for his life, and they just started shooting. Police Chief Chuck Brooks says Kennedy was shot several times, but was still able to call 911. We know there was forced entry. We cannot tell if anything was missing or taken from the residents. Um, we do know that uh, money was demanded. Kennedy was airlifted to USA Medical Center where he later died. McClammy also taken to USA. Her injuries do not appear life-threatening, but investigators haven't been able to talk to her yet. Dorothy Thomas last spoke to her brother Sunday. It's a voice she longs to hear now. I will always miss him. Say, hey, my sister. That's what he called me. And he had a smile all the time. And really, that's all I see right now is the smile that he has. The police chief says dozens of leads are coming in. They're tracking down each one of those and will leave no stone unturned to find the killer. In Atmore, Debbie Williams, News 5.